Stop allowing fear, complaining, excuses, limited beliefs, and negativity to keep you from your calling, keep you from your purpose. You are here for a reason. You are qualified. You are more than qualified to do what God is wanting you to do. And just like Moses, if you don't have the tools, you don't have the skills, he will help you get them. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's your girl Kalina and I am here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about limiting yourself, right? The ways we limit ourselves, how we put ourselves in a box. I'm also going to throw a little bit of a curveball in there about complaining and how complaining is the biggest factor, right? Complaining and fear, how it holds us back and keeps us moving us keep us from moving forward. <laughs> All right. I messed up the wording there. Okay. So self-limiting beliefs are perceptions that stem from our past experiences that negatively, negatively impact our potential or one's potential. Okay. We, we believe as a person that will never reach a certain level, whether that's within our career, within our relationships, within our life. We believe we can't learn something because our brains don't work that way, right? We put ourselves in a box and we put ourselves in that box that we're comfortable with and we're unable to be uncomfortable. We don't want to be uncomfortable because being uncomfortable pushes us into that next place, which is fear. We limit ourselves based off of fear, right? Fear keeps us from moving forward and holds us back. The thoughts of unworthiness or beliefs that we don't have the skills or we don't have the courage or bravery to do something. We tell ourselves we can't do things or we tell ourselves we can't do anything, right? Or we can't have something. And this thought process leads us to believe our lives are out of our control. Now, let me get this right. God is a leader of our lives. He's the one who control our lives. But we also have the ability to make proper decisions. And those decisions can be aligned righteously. Those decisions could be aligned in the right way. Okay. And so we all have a purpose. We're all created for a reason. There was no mistake when any of us was formed. You are not a mistake. You are here for a reason. You that that one little swimmer made it to that egg for a reason okay you are here for a reason god knew you when you were in your mother's womb you are here okay and so because of that you have a calling you have a purpose to be here okay your purpose is not to just be here do nothing live in fear and and limit yourself no quite the opposite. God says the only thing we should fear is God himself. Only the one who can destroy our souls. We shouldn't fear anything. We shouldn't fear anything in this world, right? He wants us to get out of a place of fear, out of a place of worry. Worry only leads to sickness, death, unhealthiness, aging quickly, diseases. Why do we need to worry? When God, we should know and trust that God is going to provide everything. He's going to take care of everything, right? And so we limit ourselves so much by focusing on things that are negative, focusing on the fears, focusing on the worries, complaining, becoming comfortable. And it's a difference between contentment, humbleness, and comfortable. Comfortable in misery. Comfortable in being in a negative mindset, comfortable being in a place that keeps you from progressing in the calling or the purpose that God has on your life. It's so easy to just go wake up every day, flip through social media for like five hours that day, just go to work and do the basic and then leave work and then go home and watch several TV shows 
and eat food that you warm up in the refrigerator or the freezer or just order DoorDash, whatever. You see that? It's so easy to do that. It's so easy to just allow your life to just be so limited and to just just go by just like that by it's it, it it's just it, i feel like it was just new year's and it's already april time is not waiting that's one thing we can never get back is time and what you do today what you do every single day will determine what your life is going to look that look like 6 months from now a month from now a year from now because excessive amount of use on TVs and social media and all those of those take a toll on you. They create a lot of depression. They, they, they create self-esteem issues. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a distraction from what God has called you to do and what you are here for, your purpose. And so it's important that we stop doing that. Stop limiting your life. One thing that I hear a lot today is a lot of people complaining, complaining about the job they're in, complaining about the life they live, the check they get, complaining about their children, complaining about the house they got, complaining about the car they got, complaining, 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 complaining about everything, the husband they got, the wife they got, just complaining. And it's like, are you going to just complain or are you going to make something shake? Are you going to make something happen? right? You don't like that job. Guess what? Right now we are, we are in a very good place where we can go find another job. Is that something easy? No, but it's something that we have the ability to do, right? We have the ability to change. If you are tired of being overweight, it's okay. You can, you can make a choice to eat differently to develop different habits, to start to work out. You can't afford a gym membership. You can probably work out at home, right? And that's where excuses come into play. Excuses are so limiting. Well, I can't work out because I don't have the time or the gym membership. You have time. Could you wake up an hour earlier? Well, yeah, but do I want to? Excuse. You could wake up an hour earlier and work out. You could work out at home. You can work out without weights, right? Well, I only got food stamps, so I can't eat healthy. You can buy healthy food on food stamps. You really can, right? You can do it. Well, I only have so much money for food. Well, you can take that money and you can make sure you spend it on healthier food options. And you can go to different stores instead of the big box stores to get healthier food choices and options for yourself. Well, I just don't like my job. This job is just, it's, it's stressing me out. I just, I, I just can't take it no more. I don't like this job. Well, while you're working at this job, you can start to go on a job search and work on your resume, get your resume, you know, spruced up and start to, you know, put your, your, your option, your resume out there, start to get out there, up, you know, do what you need to do to start finding a job until you're able to leave this job. If you don't have the credentials, then maybe you can look for some classes, look for some certifications out there that you can start to do, right? There's a lot of free education, YouTube, YouTube university, <laughs> right? Where you can develop certain skills and certain things to help you. It can, if you don't know how to make a resume, there's a lot of free resources out there that will help you make a resume. Like there's options to do things. Well, I only have my high school diploma, so I can't get that job that I want. Okay. Okay. So Based off this job that you want, what do you have to do in order to get that type of job that you want? Well, I have to go back to school. Okay, have you ever been to college? No. Well, maybe do you need to go to college? Is there something you're good at, a trade that you're good at? If you do have to go to college and you do want to do that job, there's a lot of money out here in scholarships for college. And some states, like our state, they're offering free money for limited incomes for bachelor degrees, right? Or you can apply, 
You can apply for Pell Grants and different things like that that are awarded to people who attend their bachelor's degree. Well, that's just a lot of work. I don't really want to have to reach out to all this place. So what do you want? I get it. There are things that really do come in, 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 in the way of what we're trying to do. But do you see how excuses can keep a person? And in and, and my experience of working in coaching class, I have seen how excuses have limited their lives, kept them from opportunities, kept them in a place that they were not happy being in. They let you, they forced themselves to be there because of the many excuses, the many limit bl limiting beliefs that they had that they could not do anything about it that they could not change anything that life was just happening to them and that there was no no amount of 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 of, of productivity or drive or actions that they could do to change their lives and i am telling you you can change your life it is how you see things it is how you view them if you see yourself as a person that says, I cannot swim, that may be true for now, but you can learn to swim. You can say, I don't know how to go to the gym and work out. You could learn how to do exercises and then you would know how to work out. I don't know how to do that. You could learn. We have so many options and so many avenues for learning that are available to us, especially if you're, if you're in America, <laughs> like now other places I can't speak for, but in America, you have so many options. There are so many resources, so many nonprofits, so many things that can help us get to where we want to go. Sometimes it may take longer to save enough money to get something we want. Maybe it may take longer to get through school. And maybe it may take longer to go this avenue, but we can start to make a way for it to happen. We can start to implement a savings plan. We can implement a, a, a plan or a schedule that can help us take things step by step in order to get to the life that we are desiring to live. When you make excuses and you limit yourself, if God is calling on you and he's telling you and trying to pull you out of that place and say, listen, this is what I need you to do. This is where I need you to go. You're not going to hear it. You're not going to hear it. For example, in the Bible, when God was telling Moses, he was like, listen, I need you to go back to these people and or back to Pharaoh and get him to release my people. Tell him to let him go. Moses was like, man, I can't speak. He was like, all right, I'll give you someone to speak. You don't worry about anything. I will allow my words to flow through the, the helper that I'm going to send along with you. Don't you worry. And Moses could have continued and continued and he could have made excuse after excuse. Well, I ain't got the right shoes. I ain't got a car. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. <laughs> right? He could have continued to do that. And he would have never, never did what God needed him to do. The purpose that God had created him for. And the people would not be free today. Or they would have never been able to got, get out of the grass of Pharaoh. Right? So you see how... If we do something like that, we make excuses or we keep coming up with reasons of why we can't do something, why we can't go a certain way, we can stop something, an important calling, an important purpose on our lives that not only impacts our lives, but the lives of people around us because we limited ourselves. We limited our beliefs. We believed the lie that we weren't good enough, that weren't, we weren't capable, and we allowed our environment, our circumstances to become the reason or the excuse for why we couldn't do something. And I want you to not do that anymore. Stop allowing fear, complaining, excuses, limited beliefs, and negativity to keep you from your calling, keep you from your purpose. You are here for a reason. You are qualified. You are more than qualified 
to do what God is wanting you to do. And just like Moses, if you don't have the tools, you don't have the skills, he will help you get them. You just have to trust him and you have to get out your own way. Or if you don't have the skills, he will provide an opportunity or open a door where you can go and learn what needs to be learned. For example, if he needs you to go swim across the sea and rescue some people and you don't know how to swim, he going to somehow send over this like nice little cheap swim school that's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to swim. And then you're going to learn how to swim and then you're going to be able to go do it. Not saying that's what's going to happen, <laughs> right? That's how we have to look at things. We have to look at things in a way that if God is calling me to do it, right? He's putting it on my heart. He's saying, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, right? He's constantly sending reminders, constantly showing signs that I need to be doing something or I want to grow. I want to get better. I want to do bigger and better than what I'm doing in my life now. Then I have to get out of the way. And I have to trust that God is going to give me the tools, the things that are necessary in order for me to be successful at doing it, especially if what I'm doing is in alignment with his will, what it is that he has called me to do in my life. Okay, so let this be a reminder. If you're the person that's complaining, you're the person that's making a bunch of excuses, you're the person that's saying, I can't swim, but won't go learn how to swim. If you're being that way, if you're allowing fear to limit you, limit your life, stop it. Stop it today. Push into that fear. Push into the unknown. Push yourself outside of that comfortability that you have. Get out of that comfortable place. Are you ready to grow? Do you want a different lifestyle? Do you want more? Do you want to actually fully tap into your potential, tap into the calling, the purpose that God has called on your life? Then you have to get out of the way and trust and believe in God and stop making excuses and look for the opportunities. Look for what can what you need to do. Create a schedule, create a plan. Look for the things that are going to help push you into that future, into that calling, into that life that you are trying to live. We get nowhere complaining. We get nowhere making excuses. The enemy wants you in a place of fear. He wants you in a place of defeat. He wants you in a place where you're believing those lies. It's just, God said, I will help make you. I will help you. Will help you. He is the God that makes the impossible possible. And if you know you got him on your side, you're gonna get it. You're gonna hit, you're gonna get through it. You're gonna get to the calling, the purpose that he is called in your life. It may not be perfect. When you start out and you start to push into that area, you may really don't have all the tools, all the skills, but I guarantee there is nobody. For example, a YouTube channel. There's nobody who probably started a YouTube channel and had everybody had the latest camera and all this stuff like that they needed. I don't have none of that. <laughs> but I still do it. Starting to do it, right? Because I limited myself, right? Starting to do it. So I'm telling you, walk into your purpose. Walk into your calling. Let the limiting beliefs, let the complaining and let the excuses Lay down by the wayside. Let them go. You're more than capable because God made you capable. And no matter what, he is going to be with you, especially, especially if it's according to his will. Okay? So I love you guys. And most importantly, God loves you. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and Stop limiting yourself and keep going, keep growing. Look for the opportunities and not the excuses. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.